Hello everybody, it is Howitzer here, and welcome back to Skyrim. Now if you notice, we're not in the same place we were last time. I've actually gone to Elysium Estate because I had a ton of housekeeping to do, tons of gear to drop off, tons of stuff to enchant, disenchant, all that good stuff. My, my carrying weight was ridiculously high, so I had to drop a lot of stuff off. Nothing really changed with my followers, but with me we had a lot of changes. First off, I've got all my gear hotkeyed now. So we have our fighting armor, our outdoor armor, and I finally have a town set. And the cool thing about the town set is it actually equips a necklace that is gives me tons of uh, extra speech and, and extra... It, it makes the prices cheaper. So we'll use that when we're running around in town, and plus then we can look all suave and cool for the ladies. Now, while we were here, we did tons of potions. I sold tons of potions. I had actually gone into Whiterun and sold stuff before I came here, so I'm not going to show you guys that part. Enchanting, I really... I have a bunch of soul gems, but I need to raise my enchanting and my crafting to really do any encha enchanting or crafting. So we haven't done much with those. Now, in our room here, we did drop off a bunch of stuff. We dropped off one of the superb dread swords. I'm going to carry one of those so I can start using it. That's going to be my replacement to um, Dawnbreaker. But right now, it's not as good. As soon as I can improve and enchant it, it will replace Dawnbreaker. I know I've had people saying you should change your gear setup so you're not using the same stuff. I actually agree. I bought a ton of new spells, so we have lots of new spells to use. I do change out my armor, but Dawnbreaker is just so much better than everything else I'm using. And I really need that extra damage that I'll probably use it until I can't. Uh, but I do plan on replacing it soon. Let's see, we put in another guard outfit here. We dropped off the Akaviri armor. This is the Blades armor with Blade Swords. And another guard set that we dropped off we dropped off another dagger so our little da dagger display is filling in same with the arrow display that's filling in i didn't have anything huge to drop off anywhere else so let's just head upstairs and now that we're up here i did drop off a bunch of stuff in my bedroom actually we dropped off a whole bunch more books our book displays are just getting crazy full now nice and full Although we've got tons more. There's actually a lot of storage here and I filled in a lot of this stuff. It's just you don't see it. Notes, journals, whatnot. And then I dropped off a whole bunch of this stuff. You can see we're getting all of our necklaces. We've put some robes in and some clothing. And now we're all set. We actually slept for the night and everything. So let's head out. Okay, so I think the next thing on my list is we did have one of those books, actually, that opened up this Shrine of Boethia. So that's something that is down the road that we can look at. And then on top of that, let's see. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one right way being a Daedric quest, but at least it's in that area. Now where I think I'm going to go is this one. The Ruins of Mazolft, which is actually in the same area as that one. We need to go to Windhelm. So let's run over to our carriage here. Well, it's starting to rain. At least it's not raining like it used to every single episode. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't have even said that because now it's probably going to rain. Hello? Need a ride? Yeah, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go to what? Winterhold? Climb and back, and we'll be off. And just in case any of you are wondering, this is actually a guard. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. She's you a know, carriage guard. The inconsequential NPC. Uh, the incon. I can't even say it right. The inconsequential NPCs mod adds new NPCs all over, and that's what that carriage guard is from. <laughs> I went to the wrong cold place. Need a ride? Yeah. Where do you want to go? 
Not winter hold, Windhelm. Where is it? Climbing back and we'll be off. Dragons. Oh my gosh, I know what that's from. That's like two episodes ago or an episode ago when I killed that dragon up on top of the college. I never got a dragon soul from him, so it was just waiting and just gave it to me. I guess better late than never, huh? Okay, now we're freezing because it's taken us like three days going the wrong way. So let's get inside and warm up and we'll get a night's stay here. Hello. No guards out. What the heck? There's the guard. Hello. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Okay, let's head inside. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here. Somewhere. <clears throat> got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Could you fill my water bottles? And could I get a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Isn't this the room? It is. Hello. The orc did frown and bid the elf goodbye. For none could know, was not for show, and someone had to die. <laughs> I just had to follow that guy to hear the rest of his song. You look troubled. Whoa. What's the matter? Honestly, Muriel can use all the able bodies it can muster. You know what? It's so good to see you again. She's one of the Bijan War Maidens, and we might need an extra person in Mazolft. Don't worry. Hmm. We'll get through this somehow. I think I'm gonna try it with the two of us first, though. But if we need some help, we might grab her or go back to the follower room. Okay, we need to go get some rest and eat. Your feet Everybody's always in my room when I wake up. <laughs> what are these people doing to me when I'm asleep? This is creepy. Seriously, man, like everybody's in here. I want to see if she's got some more food. If I can sneak by here. What have you got for sale? For the thirsty, food for the hungry. Nice. Enjoy your stay. And the don't break nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm actually heading out, but thanks, though. Okay, we've got our warmth clothes on. Let's head out. Have a good one, guard. Hey, who's this guy? Hello? Hello, oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Oh, you must work the stables outside. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a sweet... Wow, I'm already cold. Can I warm up a bit here? There we go. Let's get a little warmth before we run off here. Looks like we might have a nice day, though. Somebody do what? Uh, they're looking down there. That wolf taste chased in the, uh, or tasting. I guess he's tasting that wolf, that fox, chasing him to taste him. All right, nice weather. We're gonna keep the torch out for the moment being, though. 
And here's our horse. There's another one of those stable guards I was talking about. There'll be a guard in all the stables. I have a mod that adds carriages, so they don't protect those ones. Hey, there's a dragon way off in the distance there. Huh. Try not to freeze to death, guys. I believe I have to go this way. Kynes Grove. Resolved, okay. And I think I've even been to Mazolf. Like, I didn't go inside, but I think we did find the location. Look at those mountains flicker in the back. That just drives me nuts. I can't... That's one thing about Skyrim I wish they would have fixed. It doesn't even happen on every build. I've had builds where that doesn't do it, and builds where it does, and I've changed any settings. I've done everything, and nothing works. I think Den Dulod might, might actually take care of that. Unfortunately, I'm not able to run that right now. I mean, I guess I could update it and make it work, but I'm I don't want to adjust anything in this mod build. It's st it's stable and it works and I want it to keep going, so we're not going to adjust it. But in the next build, I'll use Dindu Lod. When I did this build and tried to use that mod, there were artifacts all over the place that weren't working and I tried it multiple times and I think it was just because of the all the textures I had in some of the textures it must not have supported because it would have weird artifacts here and there in certain Someone places. Do something. Somebody, help. Somebody help what? What's she running from? You won't get away. Time for you to die. What's up guys? Oh, it's the cat. Help. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I thought she was attacking Hodge for a second there. She's attacking the wolf. That's fine. That's the last of them. What's over here? Eh. I don't care too much to be honest. I might as well grab pelts because I like I was saying I need to level my smithing and these will level smithing. I did need that meat though. But I do need the flowers. <laughs> Nothing like watching a big guy in a heavy armor run through a field catching butterflies and pick flowers. <laughs> like a happy little schoolgirl. Okay, this place has got to be coming up here. Yep. Where's the road that lets me cut through to it, though? Oh, I still need to keep going. Which is fine. Whoa, she's flying no horse. <laughs> horse texture still loading. Okay, let's kill this cat. Before he kills me. Cats can be tough, man. I only did that because I didn't want to draw the cat to these guys. Are these bandits? Because this is a... Look at the size of this camp. I wonder if my mods are actually making these people... Hunter camp. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yeah, what do you got for Take sale? Cool. Good day. Look at the size of your guys' camp. I'm not quite sure this is supposed to have this many people here, but you know what? I need firewood really bad. I wonder if he's gonna let me sneak in on him like here. Hey! I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for oh, years. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Hey, talk to me. Is enough for all? Take a look. Talk to me. All right then. 
Come on, start talking. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I just needed some wood. That's all. I'm not carrying any. If you're not carrying any, then when you need it the most, when you're freezing to death, you have to search for it, and then you die. So I try to carry six of these logs with me if I can. See, that's all I needed. You can get back to chopping. Thanks. Best luck on the hunt, guys. At least you'll stay safe. This is a big camp. And look at that. Do you see this astronaut right up the hill here? They just all got spooked by something. I think that's cultists. Look out, guys. Let's take this saber cap first. And then I want to check magic because I did get a whole bunch of new spells. Let's try one of them. Die, damn you. The green Atronach. How do you like that? <laughs> All right, where'd these guys go? Oh my gosh. Go get him, horse. Whatever he hit me with is slowing me down like crazy because I have stamina and I cannot move. I still can't move. I'm not sure what he hit me with. I might have been crouched like an idiot. <laughs> okay, do you guys take care of yours? That's the bad part of playing with a controller is sometimes I'm too heavy on that left stick and I go into crouch and I'm like, well, I can't move, I can't move. It's hard because they do hit me with spells that actually will do that and freeze you in place or not just freeze you but make you move really slow with some of the modded spell packs I have. So, so it, it, every time I think that I'm sneaking it's because I'm frozen and every time I think I'm frozen I think it's because I'm sneaking. <laughs> All right, let's go grab the horse. Put my outdoor clothes back on. And let's see if we can find this place, huh, guys? There's supposedly a road up here that goes to it. Yeah, it looks like this is the road. We're coming up on a road here. Or maybe not. Okay, it looks like I still gotta go this way to hit the road. It's probably just around the corner here. There it is. We'll turn the compass off. Yep, I remember finding this place and then being like, I'm not going in here. Good thing, I would have been slaughtered in this place. <laughs> now, is this it? Or at least the entrance? That's the storeroom. We went in there last time, I believe. Let's head a little further up here. Jabandra saves. Wonder if we killed him last time, huh, guys? Haha. 
This is it. Let's head in, guys. Crystal. Gone. Is Fine. this guy Baratus. in the in Oculori? <laughs> so he just been waiting for us to come in to do that. It looks like. Let's check him out. The key, and we've got a research log. Attendant Gavros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly dis displeased. To learn that your speci your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. The entire binder's conclave has worked tirelessly and the council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the council with all possible haste. The council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the Oculori personally and that there will be no further complications. Okay, so there were complications. Oh, <laughs> saying, it can't possibly be true. And let's head in. And since we're probably going to be dealing with Dwemer guys, let's look at a different spell than what we're currently using. I'm going to put Let's see, Frost Breath on for a shout. And I want either Ice or Lightning. Let's do Lightning since they're robots. I think that messes with them, or it should. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. We got whoa. Just about stepped on that. There's a body up here. Be on the lookout, guys. Here we go. He's a custodian. He must sweep this place. <laughs> He's the spider cleanup crew. Oil I can use. We just made a bunch of stuff with that, so that's cool. Dwarven convector? What the heck is that? If anybody knows what a dwarven convector is, that's another thing. I I think I remember what it was from a long time ago and then deemed it useless <laughs> and never used it again. So if you have deemed that not useless, let me know in the comments. Looks like we need to, yeah, let's hotkey that one. You miss me. <laughs> he shot out a little bolt at me. I got this one, guys. Okay, this one's got me, guys. <laughs> Gold? I'll take gold. Never leave home without it. Okay, let's go check around, check this other room here. Hey, you think there might be something in the floor there? I, I'm not sure with these. <laughs> I, I just can't tell. Actually, can I hit that? <laughs> I can. Hey, little buddy. Well, I was trying to hit the spider hog. Trust me, buddy. I'd never hit you on purpose. You're the man. You make all this happen. <laughs> Hey, let's grab that. It's pretty. Ooh, shiny.
Okay, nice dead end. That means we go the other way. None of this running around. I love it. Hey, we got a ghost. Oops, sorry. Nice, and Hodge is using that big, awesome mace. That looks cool on you, Hodge. No spiders coming out of here? We got here Moonstone, we'll grab it. You guys hear that? That's Charis. That is Charis. Let's get some flames ready. And actually. I'm blue flaming it, man. I don't like messing with these things. These things are nightmares. Should we mess around with a new Atronach? I just showed you guys the green one. Can we summon a win one? I can't see him. Oh, it's a dog. Whoa, watch out, Hosh. Well, you ran right in front of me, buddy. I mean, sometimes it's not my fault. <laughs> sometimes I'm shooting and you run into it. But it's all good, because you're Hosh. Boy, look at how unequipped these guys were. They came in here with robes and a dagger. Really smart. What the heck is that? Did she resurrect something? Has something been resurrected or is there... Did you resurrect something, Aurora? Hey, what's she have for staves? I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You've got a fireball stave. I'm not using this other one. I think you would, so here you go. Now let's go find out what's doing this horrible moaning. After I get some ore. That was the wind atronach. <laughs> that was making that noise. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it shouldn't be making that noise. That's pretty funny. I think there's six. Yeah, six. Six dragons. Since you're always asking, we'll just make up that number and you, you can leave it alone. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want the ring. Yeah, it looks like those guys all have the same old nothing. Watch out for the trap here, guys. Now watch, they're gonna run into these and hurt themselves. That's what's hilarious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you guys see that? Am I... Oh my gosh. That is a giant Charis spider. And 
and I don't like it. And that's a crawler. Wow, we're getting all sorts of fun new guys in here. Okay. Now that my nightmares are all fueled up for the next month or two. <laughs> Whoa. Again, I don't see a lot of this stuff. Like I said, when you mod Skyrim, you never get to like level 20. Well, okay. When people like that mod like I do, you never get very far. You mod a little bit and you go, oh, it, it's, it's, it's working. So you either put in more mods until it crashes and then start all over. Or you just play a little bit, try a couple quests, and then go, Oh, I gotta try some other stuff that's not compatible with the stuff I have. And throw it in and start all over. So it's not very often I get this far. And it's cool because it's all sorts of new stuff I've never seen. Hopefully you guys haven't either. Let's see here. What else do we have in the magic? Let's see this one. Ice Needle? Whoa! Okay. Looks like it's an automatic shot one. I can hear something metal moving, guys. Be careful. Whoa, whoa. And that's doing absolutely nothing to that guy. Oh, sorry, Hush. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Sorry, man. We're always in each other's face. Wow. Oh, look out. Nice work, Hodge. Necklace of Catastrophe? Oh, that's... I bet you that's one of those that helps you when you're low on health. Hey, let's warm up for a second. I really like the look of that shield on the back. Oh, he tucked it away because it's not equipped. Alright, guys. Let's move along here. Which way did we... We came in there? And went... Yeah. Ice Needle, these guys didn't care. <laughs> let's let's try something different. Ooh, it's yellow. Let's see what this one is. Lightning Barrage. Little sneaky sneak. Here we go. Wow, that was kind of cool. Too bad now, here comes the big boys. Look out, Hodge. Which one do you want me to take? Both? Sorry, buddy. Um, I can't block all this, Hodge. Wow, I'm taking damage to no end. You guys need to help me out. I'm not going to survive this, am I? Come on, hit me. Wow. Thanks, guys. Whew. They both came at me, man. I couldn't get either of them off of me. 
Hodge was trying, but they were still, they were way more interested in coming at me. That lightning barrage did not do what I hoped it would do. Yeah, let's, let's try, I think the strike was doing more damage for us. Let's get that shield back up. Pretty, oh, I'm pretty much have to run with this at all times. All right, guys. Oh, wow, he nailed me, man. Come on, somebody hit him. One more shot and he's down. Nice swing, Hodge. And Aurora's using her magic, which is awesome, since before she was swinging around with a sword on people. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Let's go see what this door has in store. And it's not telling us. That's a lot of stuff in there. So let's close this <laughs> so everything stays in there and let's run down here plentiful magic I don't yeah oh I can open expert now heck yeah or I have a key for it maybe that's it I'm not sure Okay, go through this door. I do not like at all what... I'm going to summon, not an Atronach. Let's summon the Black Daedroth. Yeah, usually when I summon him, it's not good. Wow. Wow. I was worried that someone was going to get behind me and take me out from behind. Yeah, let's go kill the one upstairs. Nice, man. He's spitting like acid or something. He looks like an alien, too. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's grab a bite to eat. Another bite to eat. Was there some looting down here? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I didn't need the Dwarven Dagger. Oh, I might need it for my display. I might need that. Who knows? Okay, guys. See if you guys can figure this out. I know it. <laughs> and then I almost get knocked on my butt and they get across it without no problem. Of course, Murphy's Law. Or Howitzer's Law, I guess, for this case. Anything sneaky sneaky up here? No? Oh, are we warm? Yeah, we're warm. We're cool. We're warm. One of the two.
What the heck? Falmer? Oh, great. So now we're going to be running in. And I need Falmer blood. Nice. So let's see if he's got anything I need and doesn't look like it. Okay, guys, we're going to take this time here to regroup, and this episode is starting to run a little long. I know I don't like stopping halfway through a dungeon, but I know this is a huge dungeon. If I keep going, we're going to have a three-hour episode. So we're going to sit here, collect our senses, gear up, come back next time, and finish out this dungeon. So I just want to say thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Have a good one. And I will see you all next time. Hey everybody, it's Howitzer here, and as with every episode, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, if you could leave me a like or a comment down below, it'd be really appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for all the new content. Thanks again, take care, have a great day, and we will see you next time.